Hi everyone, this is the same thing. Um, we have a racetrack problem that we did for, this is number two, we already did one. We have the length of this is 80. The whole length here is 80. That means this side, I'm gonna go ahead and we already see it, it's 80 feet long. So this side here is gonna be 40. And this side's gonna be 40. So this little piece here, the width here is 30, is 10, because they give you that. So this is 10, and this would be 30, because 10 and 30 is 40. So they wanna know what the width is, 10 feet from the vertex. So what they're looking for is this whole width right here. They wanna know what the Y is from the vertex. So basically, what you're going to do is find the equation, and it's just going to be x squared over 40 squared. And remember your y squared, this is half of 40 is uh, 20, so I should just put, this is 20, this is 20, so that's going to be 20 squared equals 1. So there's your equation, then all you have to do is plug in, um, your x value, which at this point, this x is going to be 30. It's actually negative 30, but we're just going to, we can put negative 30 if you want, because when you square it out, it's going to be positive. So we have negative 30 squared over 40 squared plus y squared over 20 squared equals 1, and we're solving for our y here, for this point here, because you're trying to find this this width here, okay, 10 feet from the vertex, and this is what they mean is the vertex is right here, these are the two vertexes, all right, so uh, you could uh, solve for y, so I'm going to move it over on this side now, you get 1, um, you get y squared over 400 equals 1 minus 900 over 1600. All right, and this whole thing's going to be 700 over 1600. So you get y squared equals 400, and this is 700 over 1600, which basically you can take the two zeros out before you put in the calculator. 7 over 16. Take the square root of both sides. So y is square root of 175, which equals 5 square root of 7. So the width 10 feet from the vertex is um, you get um, two, uh, 5 square root of 5. But to get the double width here, because if you want to know the whole width, you have to multiply this by 2. So you multiply that by 2, and you get 5 square root of 5, which is approximately 26.5 feet. Okay? Thank you, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.